In this lecture, I will show you how to install WordPress on your newly purchased domain and how to get your website rolling. So once you purchase that, go to namecheap.com and log in if you have to. If you already signed in, your username is right here in the top left corner. Hover your mouse over it and click on dashboard. Next, click on the main list. Then find your domain name with hosting account attached to it and click manage. Next, click on products. And here is the link to your hosting. I actually recommend that you do other renew for your hosting account if you want to keep this hosting because if it expires and you don't other renew it, you will actually lose all your data. And trust me, this happened once to me and it wasn't pretty. It was a major pain to restore everything. I didn't enjoy it a least bit. So you want to avoid any of that stuff. Okay, so here is your hosting dashboard and you scroll down to the section that's called software cpanel. So cpanel is basically where you control everything that happens to your website. And to get to cpanel you need to click login, but I uh, because you're just starting out, you probably don't have your your password set up yet. So I'm I'll show you several steps that we need to set up the new password. Okay, so first thing, double click on this username and copy it right click copy then you want to open cpanel in a new window don't open it in the same window okay so right click open a new window cpanel appears here and uh, the first time around you won't have your password will not work your main password for the account so you need to reset it click reset password and in this field paste your username from the previous page say reset password and now email was sent to you with the confirmation code so go to your email copy this confirmation code so now paste confirmation code in this window click submit and here you get your temporary password now don't close this window Copy your temporary password and right click, right click again on the login window. We need to open this in a new window again, otherwise this will create an issue. So, so here is your login to cPanel. Paste your password, temporary password, go back to this shared hosting page, double click your username again, copy it and paste it in the username field again. <clears throat> now mine is saved, but if yours doesn't save, you need to do this copy paste. Now you click login and your temporary password is still in this tab. So don't close it yet. Now we need to reset password so you can log in with your own password. Okay, click change pass. Go back here. Copy your temporary password and paste it here in the old password field. Next, you type in your new password and then confirm it. And click change password. So th this is your default password for FTP, email, MySQL and all other settings in the cPanel. So here is an easy way to access cPanel once you have it all set up. Basically, just type in cpanel dot your domain name dot com. So for, in my case, it's daily th cpanel dot daily thou dot com and click enter. This will take you to another page. So anytime you need to access cpanel, you don't need to go through name cheap website and do all these steps. You actually just type in cpanel dot your domain.com so then again you type in your username your password and i recommend that you make your your browser remember it because typing in those things every time is a major pain okay now that you've reset your cpanel just scroll down and it's time to install wordpress so click 
on WordPress icon here. This takes you to the next page and click the blue install button. All right. So here are some settings that you need to do before you install it. First, uh, choose protocol. I recommend HTTP for uh, slash www. So not HTTPS because since this is an AdSense course, AdSense doesn't pay well on the secured websites SSL with this SSL certificate. So you want to keep it the basic HTTP unless you have to, to use a security certificate. Then choose your domain name and don't install it in a subdirectory. I recommend you keep it in a root directory. So when you type in www.yourdomain.com, you get straight to your WordPress. Next, go to site settings and here you type in your site title and description. So site title, Leus Daily Thou and here the description how to make thousand bucks every day. Now you can always change this site name and site description once you install the WordPress. And I don't recommend using multi-site unless you know what it is. So next go to your admin account. I recommend that you change admin username from admin to something else because it's it will be easier for hackers to break your website if you use the standard admin. So we're going to do Leo admin and then password just select a strong password once again you want your website to be as unhackable as possible so i'm just going to type password for now because you can see it on the screen and then i'll change it inside the wordpress once we install it now admin email i recommend that you use your main email say if you use gmail use that one because if you forget your password it will be much easier to restore it than if you use your name chip email so i'll type here leo adsense at gmail.com okay so next choose your language now uh, you probably want to keep english then don't install any plugins or themes just yet we'll do all of that later just scroll down and click install okay and it only takes a few seconds so here just click on this administrative link type in your username and password i recommend you click remember and then you land on your wordpress admin page so here you can create posts pages upload pictures and basically do what bloggers do just publish great content as well as add AdSense to your pages and posts. And that's what I will teach you in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.